Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. And we are back with another one. I have my oldest daughter, Kalia, and her massive mane of hair that she requires me to do every week. We're still on our path of getting her to learn how to do her own hair, but we we back in school, so I can't have my baby looking crazy. So I'm, I'm gonna take care of it, I'm gonna take care of it. But anyway, before we jump into this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, come join the family. We would love to have you. And to earn all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, let's jump into this. So I am doing a braid out in the back and we're gonna do a rubber band style in the front, right? So I got a preteen here. And she don't care for all of the baubles and the hair bows and you know all the little prissy girly stuff i'll be doing she really would be okay if i just put two plaits on her head and let her run out the door she would be all right with that but i would not be all right with that and all them instagram aunties and 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 stepmamas gonna be on my neck about her hair not being done and I'm, I'm, I got air quotations done in, in their, you know, regards. So anyways, I just applied some Pattern Beauty hair products to her hair. I went in with a leave-in conditioner. It's going to help soften her hair because as you can see, I can't even get a comb through it right now. I'm making sure I lather that suck stuff up in there, make sure it's nice and coated. And then I'm going to begin detangling. I bought this brush from Walmart. I began a lot of questions about this detangling brush. It is nothing special. I absolutely do not like it. I prefer my tangle teaser, but Kalia seems to prefer this brush for doing her own hair and she doesn't seem to do as much squirming when I use it. To me, I feel like it plows through her curls and that's why I don't care for it. Once I have everything detangled, I'm going in with the style cream by pattern as well. These products are very, you know, on the expensive, on the luxurious side of hair products, but they work so damn good. I ain't even gonna hold you, okay? Every penny she wants for them products, I'ma pay because I love them. All right, they do wonders on all my girls' hair. I've used it for everybody, for Kehlani, for Kalia. I used it on myself, but I feel like, you know, she, she maybe she's just for the mixed girlies, and that's okay. The mixed girlies need their products too. So I'm just doing a simple three strand plat twist, plat braid, I'm sorry. And I'm doing them pretty small because I want the definition. Usually when I do a lot of Kalia's braid outs, the we do jumbo size because for one, I don't want to sit here for no two hours trying to install some three strand braids. And for two, it's just quicker. She, she be happy, I be happy. I be getting her about my face with the quickness, but I wanted definition this time. So that meant the braids had to be a little bit smaller and that's okay. Every now and then I have to, you know, do a little bit of work. Plus she's like on her second week of school and I gotta make sure my baby looking good. But I gotta make sure she looking good, all right? You never know if there might be a photo out while she in school. So this is what it looks like completely finished. And as you can see the length on homegirl, she killing me, she is killing me. And when I mention, you know, some scissors, she about to have a heart attack. So this is just where I'm at right now. So I didn't wanna do an entire braid out on her head because I don't want her hair to be all in her face. She's, in, she's currently in volleyball, y'all, my baby girl is on the volleyball team. She's a manager for the volleyball team. She's not a, a player just yet, but this was her first team sport and I'm so proud of her, okay? We show up to every game at like Kalia on the field or you know playing a game and she not, but that's okay. We still gonna show up and show out. So I realized that I had took a little bit too much hair for that front half of the, the braid or rubber band style that I plan on doing. So I had to repart it. Now, since I put all my focus in making sure them braids was moisturized, shiny, and good to go, her hair kind of dried out in the front, but no big deal. We're just gonna get that spray bottle, spritz it down real quick, kind of dampen it. It's gonna help out because we gotta add some more product into it and detangle so I can do this rubber band style. So my idea going into this was I'm gonna do like the little crisscross. You know, I'll be seeing all the little teenagers installing that on TikTok on their hair. They love to do the little crisscross rubber band styles. That was my plan. But when I got done with the first crisscross, I was like, oh honey, no, <laughs> this is taking too long. Absolutely not, baby. We about to install some flat twists. So that's what I ended up doing is a couple of flat twists because all that rubber banding was just too much. But if you are not great at braiding, you know, there's other options such as doing the rubber band styles. And if you can flat twist by all means, if you can't corn roll, you know, baby, I understand. So I try to bring some versatility to this. So you can see that there's so much other things you can do if you're not a braider. It's okay to not be a braider. There are still styles for you 
out there. So I wanted to bring some color to this style because I just can't do all black rubber bands. I just, it just don't sit right in my soul. So I pulled out them colorful elastic bands and we got to work and I used like every color in there because why not? You know what I'm saying? You got to live your life in color, baby. The color is awesome. Leave the black and white in the 1940s. We're good on that. So I'm just, as you can see, connecting my dots, crisscrossing. I made sure I twisted the hair before I connected it to the next one because I didn't want it to begin frizzing on her. So I feel like if it was in a twist, it was going to hold a little bit better, which it did. Now, since we are using elastic rubber bands, y'all already know the lifespan ain't going to be like them black rubber bands at all. The elastic bands do not last no more than three days in my experience. So what I usually have to do is double up on the band. And that means applying two bands to the section rather than just going in with one, go in with two. Now, are you going to experience some tension? You probably will because you're using two bands, but since they're elastic, it ain't the same tension that you would experience with a rubber band. And if she is feeling some uncomfortable you know, something uncomfortable, I do take it out and redo it or try to loosen it up for her. I make sure it's not too tight. My girls know to let me know. Mommy just don't feel right. And I'm a, I'm gonna make sure they good. So here I am doing that flat twist because like I said, after I did that first little crisscross, it took me like 15 minutes. I was like, oh no, baby, who doing this? Who about to sit here and do this when I know I can braid? So that's when I pulled out the flat twist because I didn't want to do a cornrow because she says the cornrows are always too tight. I guess I'm a little heavy handed. And I mean, do you see the amount of hair, baby? I have no choice but to be heavy handed because ain't no, nothing featherweight going to do to them curls. Uh, let's circle back to the elastic bands. So like I said, the longevity for them are no more than three days. It's usually the longest I can get those things to last without popping on me. And, you know, I get questions all the time on our Instagram like, oh, my gosh, what brand do they not pop? No, baby, they still pop. They do, they just gonna pop. It's just, I, I have yet to come across some that do not pop. And what happens when they pop, Might you might ask next is, well, so what are you doing once they pop? Absolutely nothing. She's still gonna rock that style for the rest of the week because I'm not re-banding the, the, no, I just said it took me 15 minutes to do it. I ain't redoing it, I'm not. I do not revisit styles. I'm just be honest with you, I don't. Once the style is in, that is it. If Kalia decides to change something or, hey, mommy, I don't want this style anymore. She decides to take it out and rewash her own hair. That is entirely up to her. But I do not revisit a style once it is in there unless it requires a rewash. That's the only time I'm going to restyle it or, you know, try to up it again. So, no, if those bands pop, they pop, which was what happened. And she walked around with no bands in her head. But I'm going to be honest with you. They lasted her school week and as long as she makes it through the school week i am good so by like thursday afternoon friday definitely she ain't have no rubber bands left in her hair but okay it's friday the weekend's coming around i'm gonna rewash her hair and style it so it, it just don't be a big deal to me i know some people just like really be harping on it about the rubber bands popping but unless it's like completely destroying the style she gonna, she gonna keep on rocking with it. So this is the next morning. She's getting ready for school and it is now time to take out the braids. And I did not mention earlier, but I did go in with my Pretty Strands hair oil to lock in that moisture once I was done braiding her hair. And when I say that Pretty Strands hair oil be coming in clutch, look at that definition, okay? With them three products, the pattern leave-in conditioner, the pattern styling cream, and the Pretty Strands hair oil. Pretty Strands hair oil has been saving my girl's hair for like the last two, three years now. I can't tell how long I've been using it. I've been using it for a couple of years and it has always been my favorite hair oil always and look at how luscious them braid out curls look oh my gosh i love it i love it i love it so i did style it in like a half up half down and she gets to go look at my baby she's so colorful and pretty uh thank you y'all for joining us on another video i hope y'all enjoyed it if you have any questions about anything that we did any of my methods of my madness please leave it down in the comment section i do reply back and let me know what you think. Is this a style you're going to try? Absolutely. We'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.